Good morning, it's MJ, the creator of the Crow Tarot and the Wise Dog Tarot. And thank you so much for joining me this beautiful Friday. It is August 16th. And I just have to say thank you all like for the wonderful wishes. I am I am just so just amazed at where I am right now as I embark on the second half of my life. And I feel like it's it really does feel like a renewal, you know? So I just want to say thank you for being with me. Um, thanks to my friends last night who took me out for a couple of cocktails that were just delish. Oh my goodness. Oops. And uh, um, it's just a wonderful day. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful day. So thank you so much. And for my daughter who, who spent her whole day with me, uh, we played at the lake and just had a wonderful day of just relaxing and, you know, it's just, I'm, I'm so grateful. So anyway, let's, let's get started here and see what the dogs have for us. And, uh, well, the first card I'm going to pull, and I'm just trying to get my energy to the right place. So the first card I'm going to pull is the situation where we are in at this moment. What what do we have swir swirling around us this morning? What are we looking at perhaps as far as the energy as we enter the weekend after we're getting off of this full moon? So, we start off with the sun. And you can see here with this, despite this Scottish Deerhound being so tall and lanky and this Egon, this goofy fellow here, he doesn't cast a shadow on this little skipper key, Winnie. And she just shines. She, you know, despite perhaps feeling small, you know, some days, it's like she just radiates, you know, and she just has this, it's just optimism to her. But there's no challenge too big. You know, there's nothing that's going to cast shade on her. <laughs> and so, it's just, she's such a lovely energy here. And so, we're working with this time of feeling good. And, you know, this is very appropriate, by the way, this sun card for, um, for August. And so, you know, Leo and... It's, uh, you know, basking in the sun. That is my, my favorite thing to do <laughs> in the summer. So let's see what energy we have coming to us. Oh, interesting. The hermit. So that, that seems to make a lot of sense, you know, as we approach fall, perhaps. Maybe this is a time to go inward, to do some you know, just uh, contemplating, meditation, checking in. And next is the advice. So let's see what these dogs bring us. Ooh, celebration. Okay, so let's get started, shall we? Here this energy we have with us right now, and it does seem, you know, for me anyway, really appropriate to have the sun energy here. It's it's a time to like feel alive, to just feel rejuvenated, to get into um, a space where you feel willing and able to take on new things and allow your your true self to shine. This is a lovely lovely energy that we're working with as we're going into this weekend and having this hermit here for me it kind of like you know it, it's I feel like it's not necessarily going to slow down your process or slow down any uh, momentum that you have if anything it's going to be a time for you to relax and really plan out the future really think about 
where you want to go, um, you know, what's, what, uh, what does fall hold in store for you? What does, you know, 2020 hold for you? You know, this is a good time to probably uh, make goals that will, you know, be attainable as you go like the next three weeks, six weeks, you know, and, and 12 weeks down the road. And so something will come about where you may feel inspired to do that, where you'll, uh, you know, you'll have an event that will come about that uh, perhaps takes on this energy of the sun in a, in a beneficial way, where it says, hey, you're already in this place of positivity, you're already feeling optimistic, you feel confident, now let's see where we can go from here. And, you know, it may be an opportunity that will come to you, perhaps like, uh, you know, to get away or to, uh, to, to go on a little like weekend vacation or something that will happen where you get that, that opportunity to connect with nature perhaps in a more personal way, where you get to listen to your voice inside your head and and receive messages, get that download. You know, like sometimes I feel like when I'm out in the woods and I'm walking, um, when I'm walking Layla like through a trail and I'm not thinking, I don't have my headphones on, I don't, you know, I'm, I'm not thinking about what I need to do. <laughs> That's a wonderful time to get the messages, to get that download and sure enough, that's, I get so many wonderful ideas. And I know, like I've mentioned this before about the shower, the shower is like one of my favorite, I, I refer to it like my phone booth to my higher self. It's like, I go in, I shut the door and it's like, ah, like, you know, it's like all of a sudden the call comes in. And so this, I feel like there will be an opportunity here for you to perhaps escape the noise, the chatter <laughs> from, of, of, um, day-to-day -day life, you know, maybe like this weekend, you know, while the family's off doing something, you, you break away and you go by yourself and you go sit on the beach, you know, you get this, this chance to do that. And so utilize it and enjoy, enjoy it. I feel like with this four of, of wands here, that comes in, you know, it, it's very opposite of the hermit. You know, here here we have this great big celebration and here we have, I'm gonna be a little recluse and, and, you know, make my way, you know, out to a park where I'm not going to be um, uh, required to interact with anybody. And so here, I feel like you, this time of the hermit this time to kind of go inward is going to help you connect with that energy that you'll need to celebrate something so that you can fully enjoy it. You know, so you may be feeling good right now. This may, this is a great opportunity again to soak in those rays of the sun, you know, where you, you feel, um, this new sense of, of, being alive, you know, I feel like that when you walk in the sun and you just let, you let it permeate through you, it's like, ah, oh, you know, don't you just feel like just something come over you where you just, it's like, I don't know, it's, it's, it's refreshing in so many ways. And so you may be in this place right now where you're, you're embracing that, you're embracing life, you're letting yourself get out there and be seen and you're allowing yourself to be vulnerable so that other people will, will take notice of all the wonderful things you bring to this world. And we all need, we all need a downtime though. And so something is going to perhaps get you to just take a chill, relax, you know, this is not like the hanged man where you know, you're, you're stuck. This is an opportunity for you to just sort of clear your mind a little bit. Perhaps allow this energy of the sun to, to truly seep in so that you can benefit from, you know, all of the, the positivity that comes from this card. You know, you may find that because you do have something going on that's very important and where this energy has helped you get to that point to maintain your energy to keep that you know like um, if you think about it like your body being a giant solar panel you know it's like for you to keep all that positive um, 
energy in, you have to keep all the, the, the benefits of the sun, you know, within you so that you can harness that energy for later. It may need, you may need some time to sort of just oh, hang on to those resources a little bit, you know, don't use them up so much um, right away, you know, kind of like just spreading them out. And because there is going to be something that's going to come up here that's going to require you to get out there and enjoy a party or enjoy a celebration. And you're, you're, you're going to want to put your best foot forward here. Um, you're going to want to have a plan for perhaps how, um, how things are going to play out perhaps with this party. And because of that, you may need some downtime. So if you're, you know, if you're going to a wedding or something or a big event, you know, this may be a good time for you to kind of clear your head and think about this event in a way that will be maybe less stressful so you can enjoy it and you can get the most out of this party or this whatever it is. This is a time for you to just kind of embrace yourself and, you know, not embrace, like, doesn't kind of sound funny, like, embrace, like, give yourself a big hug, but to, to just embrace all that you are, you know, and sometimes you just need to remove yourself from the chitter chatter of, you know, those around you or work or, you know, the office. Um, sometimes if you, you have a big, robust family that can drain your energy, you know, so I feel like this is where you, you're storing up all this good, positive energy. This is a time for you to hold on to it and utilize it so that you can benefit um, or you can find that benefit in new ideas. You can come up with perhaps an action plan for the future without allowing the positive energy of the sun to sort of escape, you know, through life. So this is a chance for you to hold it in. Does that make sense? Because you're going to need it at some point where you're going to you know, just, oh, this is going to be a time when you're going to need that positive energy during a, a celebration so that you can get the most out of it. You know, if you go to a party and you're feeling drained, you know, like you're not, you, you don't interact with people in the same way. You kind of like, you know, like you may sit in the corner, you may miss out on meeting somebody new. So this is, for me, I feel like this is a time for you to soak in this energy hang on to it use it so that you can figure out good strategies for the future and then allow that energy to come out allow the sun to come out so you can shine at some event that you may be attending does that make sense i hope this reading makes sense but so we'll start here i'll show you like this is the sun card and of course, the sunflowers here, and there's a little butterfly for change. And this falcon in the sky represents your ability to clearly see where you're going and to clearly see the future. So you know, the sun will light this path for you, but it's that falcon that can look ahead, far ahead. Um, there's a tree here with little roots, which is the grounding energy that you get from soaking in the rays of the sun. And, and you can see here, she's so, you can, this puppy is so happy. She's happy all the time. And, you know, even when she has to, you know, sit in the shadow <laughs> of Egon, this big Scottish deer hound, she still lets her, her personality radiate. And I just love that. And then we have this Shiba Inu with the hermit. And you can almost see, this was, I think, the first card I made for this deck. Um, or one of the first cards. And you can almost see, like, you know, just at peace. You know, her face is very peaceful. You know, it, she's not, you know, she's not um, sleeping, you know. It's like she's active in her mind. You know, she's accepting information. But she's just very zen right here in, in the snow with the Space Needle, by the way, in the background for Seattle. That was my little call out to Seattle. And then we have this little wiener dog who's having such a great time and at this party and where um, it is connecting with its higher self. It is making perhaps connections with others as well. 
So, and there's a nice little sun in the background with the sunflowers here too. So I feel like these two are connected. Like you need this energy of the sun for an event or a party or something where you're going to need to be in the spotlight. And the best way to, to bridge that, that time between now and this event is to just lay low perhaps, store that energy up. So I hope this reading makes sense. Much love. Peace. Bye.